So before we even get started, if you're hoping to grow your gums back with oil pulling, with collagen, with red light therapy, with turmeric, or that $40 toothpaste that you saw on TikTok, well, you might need to hear this. Because the truth about gum recession is not what social media is telling you. Hey y'all, I'm Dr. Fatima from CEPI, the Center of Endoperio and Implantology. I'm your friendly and your favorite periodontist, and today we're gonna take a deep dive into what's absolutely flooding Google, TikTok, and YouTube. Can gum recession grow back without surgery? People are obsessively searching for natural fixes. And listen, I get it. They're talking about oil pulling, collagen, herbal rinses, red light therapy, turmeric toothpaste, special toothpaste even that promises to pull the gums back up. And listen, if you've been searching for those things, you're not alone. But today I'm going to give you an honest and scientific answer. So let's talk about it. First thing you actually need to know is that gum recession does not grow back naturally. Not with oils, not with supplements, not with laser toothbrushes, not with toothpaste that costs more than your Wi-Fi bill. And I'm really not saying that to crush your hopes, but I am saying it because I want you to stop wasting your time, your money, your effort, and your energy on things that do not biologically work. So let me explain why, because this part really does matter. Your gums are attached to the bone underneath your teeth. When the gum moves down, it's usually because the bone underneath has shrunk, the tissue has been traumatized, you're brushing too hard, you're clenching or you're grinding, or you've had inflammation or gum disease. But once that tissue moves down, there really is no natural mechanism that makes your body want to grow it back again. And why not? Because your root surface doesn't have any enamel, which means it has no attachment fibers. It has no blood supply and no biological signal saying, hey, let's climb back up this tooth. It's like trying to get Velcro to stick to glass. It ain't happening. There's nothing for it to grab onto. Think of gum recession like a receding hairline. I mean, you can moisturize it, you can stimulate it, you can massage it, but the hairline is not gonna return to the 1998 version of what it used to be. But now here's where people get tripped up. A lot of people think recession is actually inflammation. When gums are swollen and puffy, they look lower, but when the inflammation calms down, because you brush better, because you flossed more, because you rinse with something soothing, the gums look tighter and higher. So you think, oh my gosh, the oil pulling worked. The collagen worked. No, ma'am. The swelling just went down. So yes, inflammation can improve and the gums can look better. But true recession, once it's lost, it's lost. Now, can you stop recession from progressing without surgery? Absolutely. And honestly, a lot of patients can avoid surgery altogether when we catch things super early. So here's what helps. Switching to a soft toothbrush using lighter pressure when you do brush, fixing those aggressive brushing habits that you have, and treating gum inflammation super early, managing clenching or biting pressure if you feel like you clench or you grind your teeth, keep your root surfaces clean if you see that there's plaque that's accumulating along your gum line, address orthodontic movement, remove the plaque on your teeth consistently and frequently. These things do stabilize your gum line, but they don't reverse recession that's already happened. So now the real question becomes, if my gums won't grow back on their own, then how do I get them back? Great question. And here's the part nobody on natural remedy pages wants to talk about. There are modern, minimally invasive techniques that can restore your gum line beautifully and predictably, and they don't involve anything exotic or dangerous. Now here's the simple version. We can take tissue from you, which usually means we're taking it from the roof of your mouth, or we can use donated tissue from a sterile medical packet and place it where the recession is to rebuild the gum line. So those are the two big categories. There are also some minimally invasive techniques depending on your case, but the goal is still the same, to restore the gum height, to thicken the tissue, and to protect your roots. Both options can cover exposed roots, they can thicken your gum tissue, protect your tooth from sensitivity, also prevent future recession and make the area look healthy and more even. These aren't experimental. They're well-researched, they're very predictable, and they're used every single day in periodontal practices across the world. Now, if your recession is linked to gum disease, especially deeper pockets or bone loss, we may have to use a combined treatment. We may have to perform laser therapy or deep cleanings, so we're rebuilding your gums on a healthy and stable foundation. But once the foundation's healthy, we can restore the gum line safely and effectively. So let me give you the real bottom line. 
Gum recession does not grow back naturally, but it can be restored. It can be restored beautifully with the right procedure at the right time by the right specialist. You aren't stuck. You did not ruin your mouth and you do not need to go down a YouTube rabbit hole of DIY remedies. What you do need is a solid, accurate diagnosis, a great treatment plan, and a specialist who knows how to rebuild gum tissue properly. If this has helped you skip buying another gum regrowth miracle cream on YouTube or TikTok, go ahead and like this video, subscribe, and share it with someone who's been Googling home remedies all night. I'll see you on the next one.